The movie starts off with a beautiful scenario of a green city with a lake as clear as glass. There are several beautiful trees and boats docked on the lakeside. A girl slowly walks towards someone and stands on the roadside. She seems distressed and constantly checks her phone. She's fidgeting and restless as if something has been bugging her. She meets her friend on the street and hugs her tightly. She's relieved after seeing someone she knows. The girl, whose name is Claire, walks into a party with a friend. They're in high school and her friend is extremely excited to be a part of their first suburban house party. She tries her best to persuade Claire into enjoying the party as it's bustling with music and people hanging out with drinks in their hands. It seems like a teenage dream and they pledge to have fun at the party. They decide to go karaoke when suddenly, Claire bumps into a handsome dude. He tells Claire he could help her choose a song for karaoke. She cracks some really amusing dad jokes and the guy chuckles not understanding her sense of humor. She makes fun of his outfit but the guy flirts with her at the opportunity. Suddenly, his friend appears and vouches for him but drags him away. They start doing karaoke and perform really well that gets the whole crowd cheering. Claire's friend tells her that the guy's name is Aiden and suspects some chemistry between the two of them. Claire is very intrigued by Aiden's outgoing, fun-loving and cheerful personality who gets the whole crowd going. We find out it's Halloween and the two of them go to a candy store. Aiden makes fun of her costume which was jeans with a lion t-shirt. Claire tells Aiden that she recently moved back to the town. She constantly changes schools and moves to different states for various changes. Claire doesn't really like being social as she knows she'll have to move again and making too many memories would hurt her. She'd rather focus on good grades and getting into a good school to which Aiden calls her at her. Aiden and Claire walk through a park just munching on candy and talking about themselves. Claire tells Aiden he would surely become a great musician but Aiden tells her that he'd be trying for med school as both his parents are doctors and expect him to do the same. Aiden's dream though is to go to a music school just like Claire predicted. But his parents don't think it's practical. Claire tells him he should try to talk to his parents about it. After a serious conversation, they swing around and talk some more. They're having fun with the wind caressing their faces as they swing back and forth. Claire tells him she wants to go to law school and help the baby who be protected. Claire tells Aiden that after the parents of her son are high school sweethearts, her mom took control and that she falls in love with a new guy wherever they go. And for now, she is dating a guy named Steve. Claire fully supports her mom's decision of dating whoever she wants and living her life to the fullest. But on the other hand, she also doesn't want to make the same mistakes her mother. They swing some more and jump out which gets them on their Suddenly, it's thundering and they decide to walk back to her house. On the way, they even the talk some more and get closer and closer. She gets out of her comfort zone and becomes more social. Aiden tries to kiss her but she stops him saying she isn't looking for a boyfriend because they're graduating in a couple months. All they would do is break each other's hearts when they move to college. Aiden understands and kisses her nonetheless and they share a sweet moment together. Aiden proposes they kiss again and if they feel a spark, they date until they graduate. Claire asks what happens when it's time and Aiden just says that he'd take her out on an epic date, and they'd end it before moving to college. They decide on a breakup pact which would last until they graduate high school. They kiss and agree on the pact they made. They decide to make it the best year ever and start dating knowing it'll last only for a short time span. Aiden takes Claire out on a date to his band's performance and Claire loves it. They have fun banter and make their relationship official. They hang out all the time and dance with each other and make each other laugh. Their relationship soars high and they're together for months. Every month, they have a memory so memorable they'd never forget it. They go hiking and on walks to lakes, they go to games. They make love and are inseparable. Right before they graduate, the seniors go on an adventure together where both Aiden and Claire go swimming and rafting. It's all magical and unforgettable. They spend the 4th of July together lighting fireworks and kissing under the night sky. But the inevitable comes along. It's time for graduation and their pact to come to an end. Claire is really sad because all the time spent with Aiden flutters by in a glimpse but she just has so much love for him. Her friend tries to persuade her to not make an end like this since today is their last date. The epic date that Aiden promised 10 months ago. Claire's friend tells her that time has run out for both of their love lives which makes Claire sad. Even though she thinks it's for the best, Claire is adamant on not ending up like the way her parents did. Her friend has this huge crush on a girl but is too scared to ask her out. Aiden is on his way to take her out on their last date whilst Claire packs to go to college. She reminisces about all the time she spent with Aiden but prepares herself for what's next. She wants to make it a great goodbye. Aiden finally arrives and hands her a bouquet of flowers. They prepare for their last date with each other. Claire's mom and her boyfriend wish Aiden all the best for the future. Aiden's parents follow suit and his sister calls them idiots for breaking up because they seem like the perfect pair. Aiden and Claire have a family dinner as a farewell. Aiden and Claire excuse themselves to spend some time alone for their last date. Aiden tells her that he loves her and she claims she feels the same. They go to Aiden's former band performance where the band sings a song for their breakup specifically. It's their song and the first song Aiden ever sang to her. Claire goes back to think about that moment when he took her out for their first date. They dance together just like old times, but deep down Claire is really sad about their ongoing breakup. It's really hard for her to give up on the guy she loves so much. She consults her best friend Mark, but Aiden on the other hand doesn't want things to end at all. He strives to make her feel that they're perfect for each other by night time. They then go to the hockey rink where Aiden has been looked out only for two of them. They skate on the ice rink and Aiden tells her they could play all their first summer fight with them. Their first hockey game is the day they fought as well. During their first Escalates and Claire leaves the hockey 
bed on the ice and spend all their time there. They hug each other for the last time. Aiden admits that he did in fact fart at the game before. After an hour, they leave the rink and Claire thanks Aiden for their perfect last date. They go water skiing and he gives her a necklace of a rocket with her favorite catchphrase. This time, she remembers the first time they go water skiing as Aiden's best friend rides the motorboat. Aiden tells her it was easy breezy even though they're violently swaying from side to side. Claire accidentally falls into the water as their raft flips over. All of them are scared to death as they can't find her. Finally, Claire comes to them and Aiden is relieved. Aiden admits that he loves her for the first time. After their first date and their first hockey game, they relive their first I love you. Aiden tries to reconcile but Claire turns his idea down. They're starving so they go out to eat. They go to the same place they went for their first Valentine's Day. Aiden has his favorite Polaroid set up on the table. It gets harder and harder for Claire to let go of Aiden after remembering all these memories. She asks her best friend for help. She looks at all the Polaroids and realizes they look so happy in those pictures. One part of her that she needs to leave now or it's going to get even more difficult. Another part of her tells that she doesn't have to let go. That she can get through it and Aiden very well could have been the best thing that has ever happened to her. Her mind clashes and her internal conflict gets stronger. As a part of her thinks she's too young for true love. Whereas the other part thinks she shouldn't lose Aiden. Just then, Stella comes to her rescue but right then, Aiden comes as well wearing a tuxedo. He plans to take her to prom but seeing Stella, Claire's best friend. There's an energy shift as Aiden feels Claire doesn't want to continue this any longer. Aiden's best friend who was helping him plan everything comes along as well. The four of them sit around and start eating. Claire expresses her love for all of them. She bids goodbye to all of them. Aiden tries to take Claire to prom but Claire instead presents a new idea for all of them to do together because she doesn't want to be alone with Aiden. Aiden is disheartened at this sudden change of behavior but agrees nonetheless. Claire presses on the fact that it's their last night as a group too but Aiden doesn't want them. He tries to convince her but Claire keeps on making excuses. Aiden agrees to go out with them and they go to school together. Stella and Scotty, Aiden's best friend, have fun at the party bus Aiden arranged for Claire but Aiden doesn't say anything. The tension increases. They break into the school to leave their mark. Claire avoids Aiden and Stella finally lets the cat out of the bag and addresses the problem. Stella tells Aiden that Claire is the way she is and he can't really control her. Aiden tells her he still has hope and they don't know what the future holds. Stella tells Aiden to control about his feelings. On the other hand, Scotty tells Claire that she can't afford the relationship. Claire admits that the breakup isn't going as she hoped it would. She wants Aiden to know his true potential lies in his Scotty tells her that Aiden still has hope which puts her in the middle of the world. Scotty leaves his hand on the scoreboard and Aiden leaves Stella to wash out the excess pain. Aiden confronts Claire about her fear of limitless. She claims that all she wants is her to be to become her own. Aiden asks Claire to forget about her already pre planned life and just think about what she actually wants. Just then, Scotty and Stella treat the scoreboard and they get out of the school as fast as they can. Aiden gets hurt during their escapade and his arm starts bleeding. They go to the hospital where he gets stitches. At the moment, Aiden grabs Claire's hand for support and Claire goes back to all the time they've been each other's support. She reminisces about how they read books together and had fun. Aiden's mom, who's a doctor, comes in to check in on him. Claire plans to leave for Dartmouth the very next day. Stella and Scotty sit at the waiting room for Aiden when Scotty admits that he actually had a huge crush on Stella before. He tells her to be bold as she's meeting new people. Claire bids goodbye to Aiden's mom as well but then she admits that Aiden didn't get into Berkeley for music. Everyone thinks he didn't apply but that isn't the case. Claire is shocked at the revelation. That changes her whole mood as they take the party bus to the beach. They reach the beach and Claire goes back to avoiding Aiden. She goes with Stella to help her with her crush. Stella and Claire hug as it's their last time together too. Stella accidentally throws a sock at her crush, Tess. Tess invites them to a house party and Stella goes along. Claire wants to go too but Aiden comes to her. They try to go to the party together when Claire confesses that she knows Aiden didn't get into his dream music school. Claire expresses her disappointment towards Aiden for hiding such things about him and walks away. At the party, Tess admits that she has a crush on Stella too. They kiss and have fun together. Claire enters the party and chats with a couple people. Aiden is stuck trying to find her. Tess and Stella dance around whereas Scotty goes around with Aiden's sister. Aiden is desperate to find Claire. Aiden gets emotional and stands on a table and gives a heartfelt speech. He invites Claire with him to sing their first song ever but Claire doesn't do so. Aiden is heartbroken after this and walks out of the party when he sees Claire do everything in her power to avoid him. Aiden walks in on Scotty and Aiden's sister kissing and is appalled by her. Claire walks in too and Aiden makes a jab at all of them. Aiden tells Claire that he's doing everything to salvage their relationship but Claire claims the pact was very serious for her. Claire accuses Aiden of not being truthful to her about Berkeley when Aiden tells her that it wasn't something to talk about. His parents finally allowed him to audition and he ruined it further proving his parents' point. Claire is frustrated at him because he has this notion to be perfect all the time. Aiden finally snaps and tells her that she hasn't even said she loves now. He asks her to say it one last time but Claire fails to do so. Aiden finally breaks up with her and leaves. Claire tears up to see Aiden walk away. She calls
hears her mom cry and gets in the car with her. Her mom tries to comfort her and she brings up her parents' divorce. She doesn't want to keep fighting for love when her mom tells her that Aiden would never let her lose herself or the woman she's supposed to be. They drive home and Claire lies down in bed checking her phone and not care to see any text from Aiden. She really misses him and his presence, his hot sauces. She can't sleep and tosses and turns in her bed. She walks around the room and looks at the diary she made. The diary that consists of all their memories. She texts Aiden to get to meet one last time. salvage their relationship and says it doesn't have to end. But Aiden reminds her that their relationship is just the prologue of a book and not the book itself. They hug each other tightly and kiss each other in the middle of the lake. The next morning, they have food together on Claire's bed and Aiden decides he'd apply to other music programs and not give up on his dreams. He claims he'll figure everything out on his way and thanks Claire for pushing him to do what's right. Claire hugs Stella and says goodbye. Claire and Aiden bid goodbye to each other but as friends they still have hope that things might work out when they meet again. They hug each other for the last time and never want to let go. Claire and Aiden both have immense love for each other but go their separate ways. Claire settles into college remembering Aiden and Aiden gets into a music program. And they both are happy with where they are. They're both elated to see each other's progress and keep texting each other. They plan to meet up again for a first hello.